And when Sayyiduna Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, <clears throat> when he told Hassan ibn Thabit, and I'll close with this inshallah, when he told Hassan ibn Thabit, Uhjuhum wa ruhul qudusi ma'ak, <clears throat> that you go and you speak and you re- and, and you respond and 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 ruhul qudus a sayyiduna jibril is with you then that is the prophet sallam indicating to his followers that you should never ever for a moment think that you're not supported or you're not backed up by the divine no allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is right there if you and i our emotions, our actions, our speech, our considerations are factoring foremost the will and the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And what we really desire is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is content with us as his servants. Then know that Allah is with us. And it doesn't matter who attacks you, what they say, what's not said. It doesn't matter how <clears throat> people try to intimidate or bully or chastise. It doesn't matter because Ruhul Qudusi Ma'ak. And Allah will designate angels for you, just like He did to the companions in the Battle of Badr, designated angels because Allah is with them. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when He sends <laughs> His resources and the cavalry to His servants, then there is nothing, nothing that anyone in front of you, doesn't matter who they are, what power, what influence, if Allah is with you, and Allah is with us because He's Qareeb. And he's mujib to the servants of Allah. Then, inshallah, brothers and sisters, there's never a reason, a reason to doubt or to find yourself in anguish or in despair or in helplessness or hopelessness. And I pray that this ayah, this is the ayah that inculcates within us a spirit, a spirit of certainty, a spirit of confidence. As the Egyptians say, نَحْنُ masnudin in masnud. Masnud means that you're aided in support. Your support, Allah has your back. Do you, do you understand how powerful that notion is for us to walk into life knowing that Allah has my back? And if you can, if we can teach that to our children, when they're when our daughters are wearing the hijab in the public sphere, or our sons wearing the beards, or the ch- the children of our community wearing the kafiya, knowing Allah has your back. You don't have to worry. Doesn't matter. Even if you experience physical pain, you do not worry. Allah has your back. And what we see every single day, brothers and sisters, as our, our brothers and sisters in Gaza are suffering the way they are, it may seem superficially that they're losing. That our, our when we see our children, when we see our mothers, when we see our daughters, when we see our sisters, wallahi, they've won. They didn't, they're not losing, or they've won. And Allah is with them, and Allah has their back. And each soul that is taken, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has plans for his servants. Every soul, every being, Allah has plans. Allah knows exactly what's happening, Allah knows exactly what the timeline will look like why things are happening, how they're going to happen. We just have to have the certainty in our hearts. And we have to approach Ramadan with this type of resolve that Allah is with us and He will never forsake us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us a community of believers that operate with this level of profound certitude and certainty in Allah's promise and Allah's aid and support. Barakallahu feekum wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa akhir da'wana alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.